Trilogies are a badge of honor for a combat sports division. The UFC has an entire catalog of epic rivalries from flyweight and all the way up to heavyweight. But the 170 pound division has not seen an epic trilogy for quite some time until now. And so, yeah, I, don't, I, didn't, I never forgot who I was and I'm not forgetting who I am. Leon Edwards is the unlikeliest champion in recent memory. I have to remind him who he is. Shunned for a majority of his UFC career. Rocky rose to the top of the division at UFC 278 when he captured the welterweight title. It was a moment for the history books. Dog emerged victorious in the last minute of the final hour and shifted the narrative, immortalizing his journey. It was a blaze of glory for Leon Rocky Edwards, the new champion, but in that blaze, we have forgotten the nightmare that haunted the welterweight division. It's hard to be great in MMA, but make no mistake, Kamar Usman is great. The former welterweight kingpin and pound for pound supremo has demonstrated his greatness time and time and time again. The Nigerian nightmare is on a path of redemption. First knockout loss, legendary win streak brought to a brutal halt, and without the coveted title, the revenge tour is on. I felt this feeling, this is me being fully honest, I felt this feeling maybe three times in my career to where I just felt violent. I wanted to be violent, and I'm starting to get that feeling this time. And so, you know, I can't wait till Saturday. On March 18th, in the main event of UFC 286, the final chapter gets embellished when Leon Edwards defend his newly won championship against Kamar Usman. My aim now is to be go down as the best water of all time. You know, there's no reason why I can't do that. Um, I've already proven myself right by becoming champion. I'm gonna prove myself right by becoming best of all time. Edwards holds the honor of being the first guy to defeat Usman inside the octagon, but at the same time, Usman is the last guy to beat Leon. Indeed, this is a trilogy that we need. We need closure, and in the main event. We're going to get it. In the co-main event, two of the most feared lightweights will meet in the middle of the octagon, and only one will remain standing by the end of it. Half Elf is Eve represents the new era, but Justin Gage is from the old guard of lightweight contenders, and he's still here. Despite all the wars he's been in, Gage is still around and still determined to become undisputed champion. It's old school versus new school, and the winner moves ahead into the title hunt. Yeah, Fazeev is a killer. Um, the most exciting fighter that has ever stepped in the octagon in the history of this sport. Was it just one mistake that cost Usman the title? Was it a classic underdog journey? Or an unlikely 15 minutes of fame? Is the nightmare over for good? Or was it just a brief respite? What was the excuse for the first fight? What was the excuse for the head, the head kicking up? We will find out on March 18th.